Our McLean Highlander varsity baseball team took on Langley for the second time in the season and beat them in a thrilling nail biter. But second time this year, yeah. came out big at the end. Big E fought with the big hit by pitch. You know, just gonna keep riding this momentum. McLean ended up scoring three runs in the last inning despite Langley replacing their pitcher. McLean, after the win over Langley, now holds a respectable 4-3 and three record and looks to cash in all the hard work they put in in the offseason. Yeah, you know, we had, we had a sacrifice a lot for the season. You know, we missed the whole last season, so we kind of big this season. You know, COVID stinks, but we're trying to make the best of it. Oh, that was so, that was so. Um, we had a rough start. Um, and then we kind of turned it around a little bit. We've won five of our last six. Um, so we're, we're looking to continue uh, that trend and, and compete for a district championship. Multiple different outside factors have affected the baseball team season. It was an odd off season. Um, we were much more limited than we, than we have been in the past in terms of uh, what we were able to do in, in, in terms of on the field uh, stuff. Um, I think our off season had less of an impact than just the last year where a lot of our kids had very few opportunities to play um, in sort of competitive settings. Um, and so for some of them, they hadn't really, until our season started this year, it had been the better part of two years since they played a, a competitive game. And so that's presented some um, some challenges of, of kind of getting people up to speed and, and trying to get folks kind of game ready. Baseball is the one of the first sports to have normal crowds come back and support them. Um, I think it's been a positive uh, for for our guys to be able to have you know friends and family here, and, and as colleges have let out, we've had a ton of alumni coming back the last week or two. Um, and I know you know things were a lot more limited for the indoor sports in particular, um, but it's been great. I would say actually our, our crowds have been totally you know normal with, with a, a non-pandemic year in terms of the numbers, um, and it's been awesome to, to have that support. Reporting for WMHS News, this has been Supersidey Charm and Garrett Bain.